Alright, so today we're going to be going over ChemiClean. It is for killing red cyanobacteria. I have also used this in the past to kill brown cyano, which sometimes when you see brown cyano you think it's dino, but me and a couple others that I've recommended has killed it using ChemiClean. Um, I love the stuff. I had a bad cyano outbreak back in the day and this stuff was legit totally cleaned up my whole system. Now right now in my frag tank downstairs, the refugium section is, it has a little bit of cyano growing in it, which is very common for a refugium. Um, you know, it's not a huge worry, but I want to eliminate it before it gets out of control. You can see here, it's just, it's vibrant, it's growing, and it's, it's just a healthy bacteria. Now, like I said, I'm not really worried about it since it's only down in the refugium section, but over time, it can make its way up into your display. So let's just get rid of it. I'm not gonna go over the directions fully. It's pretty much, you know, what you see here is what you get. It comes with a little scoop, the little vial of the actual ChemiClean itself. Um, I think it's one spoonful per 10 gallons of water. What you wanna do is remove your carbon, remove your GFO, you can continue to dose if you're dosing the tank, and you definitely want to remove the collection cup to your skimmer. Um, they do recommend, you know, 24 to 48 hours. I say go the full 48 hours. And then once you're done with the full 48 hours, um, do a 25% water change, because I don't think the 15, 20%, whatever they recommend is good enough. So do a 25% water change right at the 48, you know, 52 hours, whatever and um, they want you to heavily aerate it. What I like to do is I like to just take the collection cup off my skimmer and just let it go crazy. Just let it overflow for 48 hours. That will give you plenty of aeration. The aeration will actually help break up the cyano and get it out of there. And you can see here, this is 48 hours later, spotless. Um, all the netting and Everything's off of the matrix. It's totally clean. There's nothing clinging to the bottom of the glass or the return pump. And, you know, the Chato itself is just back to its normal green consistency again. Um, and in my sumps, you know, I, it doesn't matter for me to stir this up like crazy um, because I always have my little uh, pinky poly filters as my last overflow before my return pump. So none of this stuff can float over and go back into my tank. It always gets caught up on here. So I hope this video has been helpful. Uh, any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll see if I can get you your answers. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.